Howdy everyone, welcome back to Zeman Outdoors. Today is gonna to be the first of a four part series on how to start hunting as a beginner. So I think if you're watching this video, you're probably similar to me, whereas you're, you're an adult onset hunter. So it's something that you just started getting into, uh, you didn't grow up doing it, and you're just kind of interested in what it takes and what you need to be able to go on your first hunt. The first thing you've got to decide is what do you want to hunt and why? You need to be prepared that taking the life of an animal is not easy, nor is it enjoyable. Uh, the hunt may be fun, the excitement, the preparation, everything you do up to it may be fun, but you've got to understand when you pull that trigger and you take the life of an animal, that, that's not enjoyable. Nobody really wants to do that. We do it because we want to put food on the table. We do it because we enjoy the hunt and it's exciting. But I think given that, you need to make sure you're ethical and whatever you do, whatever animal you're going to take, um, that's the number one thing is being ethical, taking ethical shots, and then safety. Those are kind of my top two priorities when it comes to hunting. Once you've decided what you want to hunt, you know, you're, you have to figure out where you're going to hunt. So I'm sure people are watching this all over the United States. I'm in Texas. Um, I have property in Oklahoma, but each state is different. So are you going to hunt public? Are you going to hunt private? Are you going to hunt a friend's property? Um, what are the rules in that state? What regulations do they have? Um, so those are things you have to think about. Each state has their own rules and regulations. They have websites that explain all the different regulations they have there. Public land has different regulations. Each public parcel even has different regulations. So you really need to narrow down the places you're going to hunt and become familiar with everything about that area. The next thing I want to talk about is safety certification. A lot of states require it. Some states only require it after a certain age. Some states don't require it. Some always require it. So again, look into the regulations of where you're going to hunt. I had to get it in Texas when I was younger, and then I just had to take it again in Oklahoma because in Oklahoma, if you're under the age of 31, you have to take it. So I had to, to take that. And some, some places are free and some you have to pay for. I think um, some of them have some field testing where you have to go into the field and, and do a class. For Oklahoma, there was a, you just do the NRA one. I highly recommend the NRA safety course. It is a very long course, but you can get in and out. You don't have to take it all in one day, but it's very informative. I actually just took that course uh, a month ago and it, it took me three or four days, but it tells you everything you need to know. It talks about different animals, different calibers, the safety of it, the ethics of it, um, the conservation and outdoors. I mean, it goes into a ton of detail. So I highly recommend that course. Uh, and I think everyone should take it regardless of whether your state requires you to or not. Once you go through the safety course, you're going to want to figure out how you're going to hunt. So. I think that's kind of a loaded topic here. Um, but really kind of what I mean by that is, are you going to use a rifle? Are you going to be using a shotgun, a bow? Uh, what caliber rifle? You know, those are types of things you need to figure out. In the safety certification, it, it talked about what caliber is good for what game. If you didn't take the NRA class, each state actually has rules and regulations that talk about that. So it may be worth jumping into the rules and regulations again to see if they have a minimum shot size or a minimum caliber that uh, you need to use on the animal you plan on taking. Now that you've figured out what you're going to hunt and how you're going to hunt it, you're going to have to look up all the rules and regulations on your state. Each state has their own department website. If you just Google your department wildlife, it should pop up and, and you can jump into the rules and regulations. You're gonna to wanna to go through these and you're gonna to wanna to go through them in detail. There are a lot of rules that talk about how to hunt, where you can hunt, when you can hunt, what you need to wear. And what I would do is I would just pull the book. It's usually a PDF format. You can pull it, print it out, start going through it. I would highlight any things that you think are important or write down any questions that you may have, any clarifications that you don't quite understand some of the rules. I just went through that with the Oklahoma rules because some of them are different than Texas, so I wanted to make sure I fully understood them. So write them all down, and I'll go through later on how you can get those answered. 
But you want to come become as familiar as possible with the rules because the last thing you want is an expensive fine from the game warden. So I highly recommend going through all the rules and making sure you fully understand what you need to be able to hunt the game you plan on hunting. While you have those rules and regulations open, it'll most likely talk about what licenses you need. So I would become familiar with the licenses that are required for you to hunt, whether it just be a, a basic hunting permit or if you need a public hunting permit, do you need a duck stamp? You know, there, Each state has different requirements on what you need. So I would make sure you go through that and if you're going to be hunting multiple animals or different types of game, you know, Texas has like a bundled pack where you just buy basically everything. I think it's like 70 bucks for the residents. And that's what I just buy to, to cover myself. And it covers pretty much everything except your duck stamp. You want to make sure you have all the hunting licenses you need to hunt the game you plan on hunting. The last thing you want is to go out there and run into a game warden and not have the right licenses and get a big fine. You know, that, that really puts a damper on your experience and you may never hunt again. You may never go in the outdoors and in the woods and, and hunt. And so I think, you know, doing all this research up front is really beneficial to making sure you have a successful and enjoyable hunt. So the next thing you should do is you should find the number for your local game warden. And the reason I say that is you want to give them a call, talk to them about when and what you plan to hunt. Um, that list you created of all the questions and things you didn't fully understand on the rules and regulations, now's the time to go over them with the game warden. Talk to them about all those. Try and make sure that you're not going to violate anything. You won't get a ticket because these fines, like I said, are not cheap. And it's better off you just hunt legally and don't poach. Usually they're pretty nice. They, they'll take the time to walk you through this. You know, They want people outdoors. They want people to learn. And they want people to hunt correctly and legally. Uh, so I, I would take the time and, and call your game warden and just talk to them about it. The next thing I think you should do is find a mentor. Uh, I have my uncle who lives about an hour north of me, and he was the first one I went out hunting with. He's the first one I went scouting with. You know, he basically instilled the ethics of hunting and safety into me when I started hunting. And so I think it's good to Make sure you find a mentor that is ethical, that knows what he's doing and approaches hunting with caution and safety. And you find somebody that loves it. I mean, it's if they're willing to take you out there and walk around for hours to show you the ropes, I think that's the best thing you can do as a beginner hunter is find somebody that is willing to teach you everything you need to know about hunting. And if you don't have somebody in your family or somebody you can find, I urge you to reach out on YouTube, Instagram, forums. There's a lot of people that want to help and get people outdoors and enjoy the sport with them. You know, I, I've been on YouTube for about a month now, and I've already talked about five to ten people just through YouTube. You know, we've had 30-minute hour conversations just talking about where I hunt, where they hunt, you know, what feeders, blinds that they use, um, any tips, any tricks, and, and it's, it's beneficial. I mean, the, these people, like I said, want you to be out in the outdoors, want you to hunt, and we want you to enjoy it as long as you're doing it safely and ethically. So I, I think finding somebody that can show you the ropes is the number one thing you can do. Another thing with the mentor is finding a friend to learn it with you. So when I started learning how to hunt and everything, my best friend was also kind of going through the same process and, and he had a couple mentors on his side that he was using. You know, we just got to learn a lot about deer, their movements, their actions through our mentors. And then we were able to share that with each other. And we can, when we hunt together, you know, we sit there and we'll talk about, you know, the age of a deer, you know, is this an ethical shot? And, and you can learn from each other. You can learn from each other's mistakes. And I think it's good to, to go out in the woods and hunt with somebody. I mean, that's part of the reason why we enjoy it is being able to go out with friends. And, you know, even after the hunt, you sit around a fire and have a couple of beers and just talk about the day or all your previous hunts. I think that's a big reason why people enjoy hunting so much is it's, it's a way to get away from your everyday life. You know, you go out in the woods and you're there for a weekend or a week and you can just enjoy yourself and kind of get away from everything that's going on and you just have a good time. 
So that's everything I had for the first video. I hope you all enjoyed it. You know, I, I think this is something you can learn from. And if you have any questions or comments, feel free to, to drop a comment in the uh, box below. Uh, I plan on coming out with three more videos in this series. The next one's going to be on practice and preparation and everything you really need to do um, to get prepared for a hunt and how to practice, where to practice, how to pack for a hunt, whether it's public land or private land, how to make sure you're prepared if you do harvest an animal and, and are able to get it out of the woods. Uh, so if you're interested, please go ahead and subscribe and like this video, and I will see you all next week. Thanks.